that is a nice BMW, man. Wow. That is nice. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a pussy mobile. Because if you don't get pussy in that thing, you are definitely doing something wrong. So Yamaha is coming out in 2018, I guess it's already out. The Nikon. This here is that Nikon. Alright, so two wheels up front, one on the back. It's uh it's an MT09, which is what they call, you know these Yamahas and uh, places that aren't as cool as America. In America, we call them, they're called the FZ09. I mean, it, you know, I, I get it. It looks kind of cool, but what I don't understand is why have two wheels up front if you still have to lean and put your feet down? I don't understand any stability gain or anything like that with these machines, but uh, okay, I, I get it, you know? But you know what? No, I don't, I don't get it. Like, why, uh, why would you have the two wheels up front and you still lean and you know you still have to put your feet down all that I I, I, I don't get that I mean mm, I don't know and then a lot of people were like oh a new option for handicapped riders no it's not oh it's a new option for beginner riders no it's not if you watch the videos on it you have to really know what you're doing to ride these things beginners should not be getting on you know 800 cc bikes 500s like Honda Rebels and stuff like that. Perfect, perfect beginner bikes. I don't even think the Grom is a good beginner bike because the Grom is for someone that has a lot of experience riding and they, they want to kind of tool around and have fun. They, they, look, they look fun as hell, those things. But so why would you go out and buy a Nikon that's really an FZ09 with the added weight of extra suspension and an extra front tire on the front end? So now you're taking an 800, 800cc machine that is really, really quick and probably a blast to ride, and now you're kind of turning it into a slug. This is a road I've never been on before, Clay Pitts Road. This looks kind of awesome. So, so why would you buy an 800cc 800 machine that has the added weight of an extra tire up front when you don't get the benefits of having three wheels. It's not a trike. It's not a bike. What the hell is it? But, you know, to each his own. Everyone, you know, all right, you know, if, if someone wants a little more stability, I guess, you know, you can go with this machine, you know, okay. But I, I just, I, I, for me personally, I, I mean, because I, I personally need, you know, the stability of a trike with my balance issues and, and the lack, lack of strength in my legs. If I was able to ride two wheels again, you know, I wouldn't go for something like the Nikon. I would go for an FZ09, you know, or, you know, I would, I would go for an Indian. I would definitely go for an Indian. The, the, the Dark Horse Chieftain or whatever is, oh, this is the Dark Horse Chieftain. Absolutely beautiful machine. Oh my God, look at that thing. I don't know what it is about spider riders or noobs in general, you know, not that all spider riders are noobs, but, you know, on, on the interwebs I saw a lot of like, oh my god, that, that thing is ugly, and I would never ride that, and who would want something like that, and blah, 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 blah. Well, someone does, otherwise Yamaha wouldn't be doing it, but it, it just shows that they're thinking. They're thinking about the future and what's to come, which is cool. Honda is is coming out with or working on the prototype for like a self-balancing motorcycle, two wheels that it constantly balances itself. The, the 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 steering keeps adjusting, the suspension keeps adjusting to keep the bike completely upright at a standstill. I would get that thing in a second to be able to lean in corners to get corners again and you know go kind of nuts. That's just me, though. But I love the whole, oh, that's ugly, that's ugly. I, I, people, I guess, forget what, what was being said and what is still being said about spiders. A lot of people think these machines are ugly. I don't. But a lot of people think, like, oh, what's the need for them and all that? And, and, and a lot of times, you know, I comment 
you know, on, on these posts or these YouTube videos of people going like, oh man, those things, are, I don't know why anyone would ever ride one of those things. And, and I just ask, you know, well, how about handicapped people? And the answer I always get is, oh, oh yeah, no, it's fine for handicapped people. Okay, well, you know, obviously, you know, not everyone's thinking about those that have a problem. I get it. What I don't get is everyone's jump to kind of give their opinion about something like, and you know, a couple of the more, you know, intelligent comments are, nah, you know what? It's cool, but uh, not for me. Not my thing. You know, th those are the things I see being said. And th those are in intelligent comments because you know what? Hey, I'm not going to crap all over something just because I don't like it. It's, it's just not for me. But I see like, members of the spider community and then when you check out their profile you know this is you know spiders are their first um i guess entrance or foray into motorcycle handlebar type machines and it's just like oh my god you friggin noob stop you know it's like i would never ride one of those i love my rt and i love this yeah, great great no one's asking you to ride it but just hold your opinion and, and stop you know, the one noob thing that, that I keep seeing is stop talking like you've been riding for 30 some odd years or whatever. Number one, no one cares about your opinion. Number two, you're too new to even have an opinion. What you know about riding, you could fit in a thimble and shove up a baboon's ass. Seriously, that's how much you know and that's how useful of how much you know is worth to anyone. But, you know... I don't get it. It's, it, it's, it, it's, I have this gay friend and I remember one day he made, he made a pretty, pretty racist comment. I mean, I, I was even shocked. I was kind of like, dude, what, what the hell, man? I mean, you know, you know, I have friends of all backgrounds and stuff and we all, we all joke to each other, you know, like, you know, everyone, you know, calls me a guinea and stuff like that. And, you know, it, it, it's all in good fun. It's like, no one really cares. You've known people so long, you don't you don't take offense to anything. But he he kind of said something like really bad, like like dude, you you can't say stuff like that. And I just I just said I'm like, dude, you're gay. And he's like, yeah, so. And I'm like, well, gay people are probably one of, if not the most persecuted groups on the planet and you're you're making fun of black people like what I, I i don't i don't get that and he was like haha laughed it off but it's true it's like you're one of the most persecuted you know you belong to one of the most persecuted groups on the planet and you're persecuting and making fun of someone else uh i don't know man that's 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 a little weird it's a little strange but you know People, people do it all the time. People do it all the time. But that's what I don't get is that, you know, these spider riders who, you know, you know, they're not persecuted, but people on spiders are made fun of by the general motorcycling population. But the, the general motorcycling population, you know, is a little ridiculous because you have Harley riders that don't like sport bike riders. You have sport bike riders that don't like Harley riders. You have different groups within the sport bike riders that don't like other sport bike. Yeah, thanks for the signal, asshole. You have other sport bike riders that don't like other sport bike riders. So, I mean, I, I don't get the whole, you know, you're different, so I don't like you. I, I, seriously, people, come on. It's 2018. There's, there's, there's bigger fish to fry and, and more things to worry about. But that's what I don't get. All these, you know, spider riding noobs talking about, you know, what they profess to. And, you know, everyone has the right to say whatever they want. Absolutely. But just because you have the right to say something, you're also opening up yourself to the consequence of what you say. And the consequence is, stop. You, you, you sound like a jackass. I have to pull over and check the map and see where the hell I am. I got myself lost. Yeah, but you know what? Lost on Long Island. You go west far enough, you hit the city. You go east far enough, you hit water. You go north long enough you hit water you go south long enough you hit water so if you're going north and you hit water go left if you're going south you hit water go right that's how you get back to my house that's the sound of the men 
working no I'm not well most of them are sitting down but it is lunchtime so for all the people that drive around and look at cops and construction workers oh god look at our taxpayer money yeah it you know they're allowed to take a break you know it's like 85 degrees out and they're working their asses off so if you say something about people sitting around you in, in this weather you're you're kind of a dick this Yamaha Yike so this Yamaha so this Yamaha Niken is not going to be for everyone and it's not supposed to be for everyone but you know don't don't give your opinion at the expense of what other people like you know don't sit there and you know I, I would never ride that that piece of crap it's like how you piece of crap I guarantee that thing has more technology than in the car that you save so much to buy and love thing has more technology and more know-how in one of its computer chips than you have in your entire brain porta potties this is a nice little neighborhood I never never really knew about this area that's the cool thing about you know if you're in a car you're like oh man I gotta get home I got this guy that we're on a, a bike or a trike you're just like nah, I'll get home when I get home you really don't care about it getting lost is the point getting lost when no one can find you is the point I should have put the compass on my cell phone. But I know I'm heading west. Oh no. I was heading west now. Now I don't know. I should have pulled in the fire department. Oh, Junction 25. So I made it back to 25. See? We know what we're doing. And we want to go west. Yay. I'm going to pull in this gas station and find out where the hell I'm going. I know where I am now, but I want to figure out where I'm going. So, you know, there, there was a time when, you know, when spiders first came out 10 years ago, people were like, what the hell is that? And they found a market. And the reason why you enjoy your spider is because there was enough of a market and enough people like this ugly new thing, according to some. And they made more and more and more of them and they made technolo technological advances and they made you and gave you the machine. Well, you bought it. You didn't really give it to you. But they brought you the machine that you really, really love. So, who's to say that's not going to happen to Yamaha Nike and customers? But it's just it just comes down to ride whatever you want. Ride what makes you happy. You know, what, what got me was the spider riders that were calling this thing ugly and a waste and all that. It, it's the same thing. Because I remember when the spiders came out 10 years ago, I was on two wheels at the time. And I was like, nah, I never would own one. But I saw one in person, I was like, man, that thing is kind of cool. We'd never own one, but heh, here we are. But I'm just saying, just, just calm down with all the rhetoric, calm down with all the insults. Just calm down and let people be people. Let people ride what they want. Let people do what they want. What do you care? And again, I, I said it in, in my, my riding gear episode. You know, noobs should noobs should be seen more than heard, just like children. Learn as much as you can. Listen to as many informed people as you can before you make a judgment on anything. You know, was it Mark Twain? I think, and I'm paraphrasing, I think it was Mark Twain. That's it. Best be quiet and be thought of as a moron than to open up your mouth and confirm it. But I guess in this day and age, everyone's opinion matters, and everyone has a voice. Yeah. People are going to talk about what they're going to talk about. People are going to say whatever they want to say, but the consequence is, other people pointing at you and, and calling you a moron. <laughs> calling you a jackass. That's the consequence. You have every right to say it, but... people that have been there done that are kind of going to look at you and just be like dick oh well what are you going to do I'm only one man and I'm out here trying to change the world I, I don't want to put down spider riders I really don't because I am one of them I mean <laughs> like me or not I'm part of your community <laughs> I just don't get the, the attitude and the, the one-upsmanship oh uh, I wouldn't get that. My spider's much better. Okay. Obviously your spider's much better because you chose your spider. You chose your spider over Harley, you know, the tri-glide and the you know, freewheeler and all that, which uh, I rode them. 
And I'm sure it's a culture thing and, you know, people like them, they really do, but not for me. That's why when it came time that it was time for me to move from two wheels to a trike, I went with the Spider. Now, there's hardly people out there that, you know, would look at this and be like, oh man, what the hell is that thing? Oh. It's a machine that I love riding. And that's, that's the only answer anyone needs. I used to love this turn on two wheels. It's great on a track, don't get me wrong, but oh man, when I was on my kingpin, <sighs> just lean and you hear the platform scraping and oh, the bike is just telling you, Daddy, I want to go fast. So, spider people, Harley people, Honda people, Kawasaki people, Triumph people, Yamaha people. I don't know if I'm leaving anyone out. Just ride what you want. Relax. Don't worry about what other people are doing. This is what manufacturers do. They come up with new ideas and they put things on the market. And if the market doesn't like it, believe me, they're not, the, the company's not going to keep soaking money into a machine that the public doesn't want. So you can kind of hold your opinion. I mean, don't get me wrong, you, you, you're, you're, you're definitely entitled to your opinion of like, yeah, I would never get anything like that. But don't call something a piece of shit, or it's ugly, or oh my god, I would never ride that. Ew. Stop. Especially those of you that have been riding for 15 minutes. Because a lot of us have been riding for a long time. And we ride what we ride because either number one, it's, it's what we can ride now, or what we have to ride now. Number two, we've ridden so many other things. I mean, I've ridden everything from a Yamaha Virago to, to sport bikes to a Harley, you know, that was falling apart. Like, literally, like the passenger peg would keep falling off as you're riding. And I, I, I'm sure I mentioned that. And then you, you wind up going home with your foot on the primary and shifting in the air. Whatever people are riding, they're riding what they want. And sometimes when you see someone with a, with a you know, a, a brand that you either never heard of or something that you wouldn't ride, maybe they wanted to try something new. Because, you know, the whole been there, done that thing, it, after a while, you, you want to go and be at new places and do new things. And with motorcycles, a lot of people, they'll buy a motorcycle, then they'll keep it for a year or two, then they'll trade it and get another one. It's just, you know, motorcycles, you know, rarely, or something that you have for like 25, 30 years. Sometimes you do, most times you don't. Anyway, everyone just needs to chill out and calm down and stop commenting on what other people do. It's like, seriously, is your life, you know, that boring where you have to really point the finger at others? Because if it is, give me a call. I got plenty of shit to do that you can help me with. Well, that was fun though. Got a little lost, not lost, but definitely for a minute there didn't know where I was, but nice open road, nice manicured lawns. Long Island has a lot of sides to it. It's not just, you know, beaches and, you know, what you call funny accents. I mean, to me, you all have funny accents. <laughs>